it got to sort of four or five o'clock and I was, I could feel like my head was like just, I was losing it. I was not hallucinating, but I was, I was spent. I was absolutely spent. <laughs> You weren't taking it like the turmeric, for example. You'd take it for information after after a game like that. They didn't have any supplements like omega three. Yeah, or yeah, yeah. Lots, lots of you know, uh, lots and lots of tablets and omega three creatine. Um, the list was long. I, I I do remember part of my sleeping regime um, would have been an alarm clock at three in the morning, and. I'd have a pot of really? supplements. So you'd wake up in the middle of the night and you'd, you know, you'd take maybe half a dozen supplement tablets. And, really? And, you know, you're rattling around. You're <laughs> full, you know, you were, you were full of those, those, types of, uh, those types of supplements for sure, yeah. What would a day look like for you on game day for the Lions? Yeah, because I think even the run-up to the game yeah, as the, well. The 40 like... hours up to, up to the game, what, what would that look like? Um... Uh, depending on how the coach and the fitness side see the relevant sort of taper towards a game, uh, because Friday Friday would always be a team run, light session. Um, most of the Friday is spent grazing throughout the day, so you're you know you're not going for massive meals, but you're fueling your body and actually getting to a crescendo towards that sort of Friday and Saturday morning. Um, the, the not a huge intense session. Some guys may do like a small amount of power work just to keep things fired up for the next day. I didn't do like doing a lot um, on a Friday. I like, just like to sort of chill and get my head around the more strategic side of things. But I would, one thing I was neurotic about was getting my body in inside the best shape getting it fueled ready to go I, I i made a few mistakes over my career of um sort of overeating or actually overhydration was quite a, quite a big one i remember being in cardiff for a wales england game and on the friday um it got to sort of four or five o'clock and i was i could feel like my head was like just I was losing it. I was not hallucinating, but I was, I was spent. I was absolutely spent. And I hadn't really, we had a, a session in the morning. And, and what had happened is that I was drinking so much um, uh, water that I was flushing out all the minerals and all, all, my, all the vitamins that I'd been building up to. I mean, I was drinking excessive water and I was flushing it all out of my system and I was sort of, and because of my, <clears throat> that, I suppose, mental energy that I was using. Um, and I think it was because I was going like pure energy drinks, sugar, sugar, sugar and electrolytes and all the rest of it. And then thinking, right, I just, you know, I can't, and I was just drinking water for four, five, six hours and I was basically just peeing it all out of my system and it just disappeared. So I found that quite interesting. From then on, I'd always had this balance of, you know, slightly diluting drinks and then get into a crescendo. So you were just topping it up and topping it up and trying to get yourself to the the max that 24 hours before when you're topping up towards getting towards game day where you're absolutely fired up. And I would always have a triple shot expre espresso <laughs> Like 45 minutes before the game, some guys might have a can of Red Bull or yeah. so just absolutely pumps you ready to go so you're fully wired up. Um, but that, that that's, for me, whenever I was playing those, in particularly those big games when it isn't necessarily about your physical state of mind because you're there, it's more about your mental and, and just the, the little edges that you need to get absolutely right. Yeah.